when you ask questions about what will be, you give authority to the possibility, you give authority to the possibility, to the conjecture, to the conjecture, to the outcome, to the outcome that you may imagine, that you may imagine, to an empowered idea, to empower an idea is to give it credence, is to give it credence in an energy field. And an energy field holds many such things, holds many such things, many ideas once held, many ideas once held that were given credence, that were given credence, many of which are never true, many of which are never true, but may be made so, but may be made so by the mind, by the mind, by the idea of self, by the idea of self who accrues evidence, who accrues evidence to support a possibility, to support a possibility. When you say, I'm afraid, when you say, I am afraid, you accrue evidence, you accrue evidence for fear, for fear, and accruing the evidence, in accruing the evidence, you create an imbalance, you create an imbalance in the energetic bodies, in the energetic bodies. When this is done, when this is done, you become the attractor. You become the attractor for the very thing you say you don't want, for the very thing you say you don't want. The opportunity tonight, the opportunity tonight in reclamation, in reclamation, reclamation of the true self, of the true self, is to dispel an idea, is to dispel any idea that there is anything to be afraid of, that there is anything Thing to be afraid of. Now fear itself. Now fear itself, the subjective, is subjective. What delights one man, what delights one man may terrify another, may terrify another. And collective fears, and collective fears which have enormous power, which have enormous power and attract painful things, and attract painful things to a civilization, to a civilization, to a country, to a country, to a county or town, to a county or a town may also be renowned may also be renowned in the higher accord, in the higher accord, when all things are made new, wherein all things are made new, the evidence of fear, the evidence of fear that the small self seeks to accrue, that the small self seeks to accrue is always supported, is always supported by someone else's testimony, by someone else's testimony, some prior idea, some prior idea that you may have held, that you may have held about what to expect, about what to expect, what damage may be incurred, what damage may be incurred, what the horrible outcome may be, what the horrible outcome may be when you do this to yourself. When you do this to yourself, you become evidential, you become evidential, you become the artifact, you become the artifact made of fear, made of fear, and you magnetize it if you wish, and you magnetize it if you wish, the evidence accrued, the evidence accrued to the self that you've known, to the self that you have known, now the true self you see. Now the true self you see is indeed unafraid, is indeed unafraid, he comprehends himself, he comprehends himself, she realizes herself, she realizes herself beyond the strata of fear, beyond the strata of fear, when we say strata of fear, and when we say strata of fear, we are giving you new evidence, we are giving you new evidence, imagine fear is a current, imagine fear is a current or a broadcast or a broadcast that one is aligned to, that one is aligned to when one becomes fearful, when one becomes fearful. You may choose fear. You may choose fear, find a horrible outcome to imagine, find a horrible outcome to imagine and link to that fear, and then link to that fear and then claim the broadcast, and then claim the broadcast or the current of fear, or the current of fear that will participate with you, that will participate with you in enlarging, in enlarging the small idea, the small idea and making it a mountain and making it a mountain, the true self you see. The true self you see was born in innocence, was born in innocence, knows itself free of fear, knows itself free of fear. The true self is unafraid. The true self is unafraid because she cannot know fear, because she cannot know fear, because it does not exist because it does not exist at the level of vibration, at the level of vibration that she holds, that she holds when you claim the upper room. So when you claim the upper room, I'm in the upper room, I am in the upper room, you are surmounting fear, you are surmounting fear, lifting beyond it, lifting beyond it, you are not denying its existence. You are not denying its existence. You are simply moved. You are simply moved to a level of vibration, to a level of vibration will not be struck, where you will not be struck by the cord fear plays, by the cord fear plays, the current of fear, the current of fear that will seek to call you to it, that would seek to call you to it. It exists in the lower strata only. It exists in the lower strata only, and it seeks its own self, and it seeks its own self in evidence, in evidence whenever it can, whenever it can. So when you idealize a fear, so when you idealize a fear, I should be afraid, 
I should be afraid. We should all be afraid. We should all be afraid. You are claiming fear. You are claiming fear. Imagine you're holding your hand up. Imagine you are holding your hand up and saying, here, fear, and saying, here, fear, come to me, come to me. My hand is up. My hand is up. And the current itself, and the current itself meets itself through the aspect of you, meets itself through the aspect of you that operates in fear, that operates in fear, not to be fully liberated. Now, to be truly liberated from the idea of fear, from the idea of fear is to know only one thing, is to know only one thing. It is never true. It is never true. Even the worst fear you can imagine, even the worst fear you can imagine, if it in fact becomes evident, if in fact it becomes evident, is still a passing idea, is still a passing idea. Even the fear of death, even the fear of death, which you've been taught to hold, which you have been taught to hold, only has meaning only has meaning when one is in the body, when one is in the body, when one releases the body, when one releases the body, there can be no fear of death. There can be no fear of death. It was simply an idea. It was simply an idea that you once thought true, that you once thought true to live in fear. To live in fear is to abide in that current, is to abide in that current in humanity itself. And humanity itself lives in fear, lives in fear because it's participatory, because it's participatory to that current, to that current. It drinks from its well. It drinks from its well. It swims in it. It swims. It invites its friends to swim in it. It invites its friends to swim in it. And that's how you've known yourselves. And that is how you've known yourselves. You've been deceived now. You have been deceived now by believing in some way, by believing in some way that fear is your rescuer, that fear is your rescuer. I'll be saved by fear. I will be saved by fear. And the more fear I have, and the more fear I have, the higher my fence will be, the higher my fence will be, the bigger will the wall be, the bigger the wall will be between me and my neighbor, between me and my neighbor. And in fact, what you are doing, and in fact, what you are doing by this act, by this act is denying the divine, is denying the divine in all things, in all things, in yourself and your neighbor, in yourself, in your neighbor, and in a higher potential, and in a higher potential, maybe sung through you, that may be sung through you, that will dispel fear that will dispel fear because fear cannot be where you stand because fear cannot be where you stand when you've taken up when you have taken up residency residency in what we call the upper room in what we call the upper room now the divine is all things now, the divine is all things has long been this teaching, has long been this teaching, and the teaching God is, God is, God is, and the teaching God is, God is, God is, is the answer to many false prayers, is the answer to many false prayers, false prayers. What is a false prayer? He says, what is a false prayer? He says, dear God, dear God, save me from this terrible outcome. Save me from this terrible outcome, dear God. Dear God, put that one away. Put that one away so I never have to see him again. So I never have to see him or her again. The realization that God is, the realization that God is simply is, simply is, as all things, as all things refutes the denial of the divine, refutes the denial of the divine in any form it may take, in any form it may take. Did you hear these words? Did you hear these words? The claim God is, God is, God is. The claim God is, God is. God is, refutes the dominion, refutes the denial of the divine in any form it takes, in any form it takes, in any supposition, in any supposition. Paul asks a question. Paul asks a question, but does that fix things? But does that fix things if I am fearing an outcome? If I am fearing an outcome and I claim God is, and I claim God is, do I get what I want? Do I get what I want? Perhaps not. Perhaps not, but you will not be afraid, but you will not be afraid. This is not a mandate for fixing. This is not a mandate for fixing. It's a mandate to an agreement. It's a mandate to an agreement with what is always true, with what is always true. Underline those words. Underline those words. An agreement. An agreement with what is always true, with what is always true. What is always true is God is what is always true is God is what is not always true. What is not always true is the evidence you would accrue, is the evidence you would accrue, admit an of mind, 
in the denial of the divine. Now, when you stop denying the divine, now when you stop denying the divine, divine, accept the presence of the divine, accept the presence of the divine where the fear once was, where the fear once was, you begin to realize yourself, you begin to realize yourself beyond the cord, beyond the cord, beyond the current, beyond the current, beyond the tone that fear carries, beyond the tone that fear carries. The only way you align to fear, the only way you align to fear is by agreeing to it, is by by agreeing to it, agreement and accordance. Agreement and accordance are the same thing in these teachings, are the same things in these teachings. You understand the idea of consent. You understand the idea of consent. Will you consent to fear? Will you consent to fear, which is given permission, which is given permission to embody as you, to embody as you, which is what becoming fearful means, which is what becoming fearful means when the fear is released. When the fear is released, you may move to the higher strata. You may move to the higher strata when you are in fear. When you are in fear, the easiest way to begin to operate, the easiest way to begin to operate is to realize the source of all things, is to realize that the source of all things must be more powerful, must be more powerful than the fear that you're experiencing, than the fear that you are experiencing. And to claim God is, God is, God is, and to claim God is, God is, God is, is it will be so it will be so reclaims you in an idealized state reclaims you in an idealized state an idealized state beyond the fear beyond the fear now if you maintain the vibration now if you maintain the vibration that we call the upper room that we call the upper room it becomes far easier it becomes far easier, but most of you leave. But most of you leave the moment there is a murmuring, the moment there is a murmuring of anything fearful, of anything fearful. Imagine you live in a nice home. Imagine you live in a nice home. You hear something clattering in the attic. You clear something clattering in the attic. You become afraid. You become afraid. You go downstairs. You go downstairs to seek out the trouble, to seek out the trouble. The upper room is as such. The upper room is as such. We're in the upper room. You are in. In the upper room, in the lower strata, in the lower strata, someone says you should be worried about, someone says you should be worried about, you should watch out for, you should watch out for, you should be careful of, you should be careful of, and you scamper downstairs, and you scamper downstairs, which is going into a court agreement, which is going into a court or agreement, or agreement to the fear speaker, to the fear speaker. Now we will again say something important. Now we will again say something important to be in prudence. To be in prudence is not to be fearful, is not to be fearful. You understand what discernment is. And when you understand what discernment is, you will stop claiming fear. You will stop claiming fear when what you're always speaking of is prudence. When you are when what you are really speaking of is prudence, is prudence. The one who is frightened of outcome, the one who is frightened of outcome is fearful, is fearful. The one who puts up storm shutters, the one who puts up storm shutters in the face of a hurricane, in the face of a hurricane is being prudent, is being prudent. Why would you ignore the hurricane? Why would you ignore the hurricane? You'd like to keep what you have. You would like to keep what you have, not because you are frightened of losing it, not because you are frightened of losing it, but because you don't need to, but because you don't need to. If you wish to learn the lesson, if you wish to learn the lesson of trusting God, of trusting God, trust the potential, trust the potential. And if your neighbor says that if your neighbor says there is a hurricane coming, there is a hurricane coming, we have put up our window guards. We have put up our window guards. Perhaps you may do the same. Perhaps you may do the same. Is understanding, is understanding we have an that you are being given an opportunity not to be told to be fearful of the fear, not to be told to be fearful of the storm, of the storm, but prevent it, but prevent it from harming you from harming you. Now, when we teach fear, now, when we teach fear, we seem to be rather different. We are teaching something rather different when you immobilize, when you immobilize the self, the self in fear, in fear, become intractable in a fear-based idea, become intractable in a fear-based idea, which would be as follows, which would be as follows. I can never be loved. I can never be loved, which is an anointing in fear, which is an anointing in fear, and that claims to claim, and that stays the claim until it is refuted, until it is refuted, you are accurately, you are accurately choosing to have the divine, choosing to deny the divine by the presence of the choice, by the presence of the choice that you have aligned to, that you have aligned to, to agree to the divine. 
To agree to the divine must come with potential, must come with the potential. It need not be so. It need not be so because I've always believed it, because I have always believed it or believed it to be true or believed it to be true does not mean it is, does not mean that it is. To give permission to change and to give permission to change, to know the divine is possible, to know the divine is possible for many of you, for many of you is the first step, is the first step towards liberation, towards liberation. I will always be in pain. I will always be in pain. I will always be in fear. I will always be in fear. Our edicts of the small self are edicts of the small self because you were given the power. Because you have been given the power of the creator, the power of the creator. You may make that as so as you wish. You may make that as so as you wish. The one who says he will always be in pain, the one who says he will always be in pain, will get exactly what he expects, will get exactly what he expects expects, the one who says it can be other, the one who says it can be other, claims potential, claims potential. Nothing can be claimed, and nothing can be claimed until it's first seen, until it is first seen and conceived of, and conceived of as a possibility, as a possibility. The claim God is, God is. The claim God is, God is, God is, God is, refutes the non refutes the denial of the light, so all things may be made so, so all things may be made so, it will be so, it will be so, confirmation, confirmation of the action of the divine, of the action of the divine, where it has been refuted, right? where it has been refuted or denied, now we would like this class, now we would like this class to look at any situation in the world, to look at any situation in the world, any collective experience, any collective experience, be it disease, be it disease, be it famine, be it famine, be it separation, be it separation through religion or politics, through religion or politics, which are all denial of divine, which are all the denial of the divine and make a new claim and make a new claim. When you are claiming God is, God is, God is. When you are claiming God is, God is, God is, you are not conjuring, you are not conjuring, you're not putting a spell on something, you are not putting a spell on something for a desired outcome, for a desired outcome. You are speaking truth. You are speaking truth to a lie, to a lie. You are announcing truth. You are announcing truth where it has been denied, where it has been denied. You are lifting things. You are lifting things to a higher way, to a higher way by revoking, by revoking the dominion fear has held, the dominion fear has held. To lift something to the upper room, to lift something to the upper room is to know it anew, is to know it anew. And the claim God is, God is, God is, and the claim God is, God is, God is, must be invoked, must be invoked from the upper room, from the upper room when you are not holding fear, when you are not holding fear, your alignment at this level, your alignment at this level supports the lifting, supports the lifting or the re-encountering or the re-encountering of what you see and experience, of what you see and experience with this together. So we will do this together. Imagine a world right now. Imagine a world right now that is operating in fear, that is operating in fear. You express in this world. You express in this world because it's what you have known, because it's what you have known. You were brought up in it. You were brought up in it. You don't even notice when you're afraid. You don't even notice when you are afraid because it's so much a part of your system, because it's so much a part of your system, a white noise, if you wish, a white noise, if you wish, that unless it's highly amplified, that unless it is highly amplified, you don't even realize it's there, you don't even realize it's there. So imagine now, so imagine now that the divine self as you, that the divine self as you, the eternal fearless self, the eternal fearless self that resides in your heart as a flame, that resides in your heart as a flame is being announced, is being announced. You may say these words after us. You may say these words after us. I know I have a truth. I know who I am in truth. I know what I am in truth. I know, I, truth. I know how I serve in truth. I am free, free. I am free. I am free. I am free. The claim I am free. 
The claim, I am free, allows you to lift beyond the old, allows you to lift beyond the old, to release the false template, to release the false template, the denial of the divine, the denial of the divine, which gives you promise, which gives you promise, an entry to, an entry to the upper room, the upper room. Now, on the count of three, you will say this after we say these words. Now, on the count of three, you will say this after we say these words. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, I am in the upper room. I am in the upper room. Say it, please. Say it, please. I am in the upper room. I am in the upper room. Feel the vibration shift. Feel the vibration shift in the energetic bodies, in the energetic bodies. If you feel a lightening of your field, if you feel a lightening of your field or a pulling upward of your field or a pulling upward of your field, this would be evidential for you. This would be evidential for you. Now you may make this claim. Now you may make this claim, which is the claim of the divine self, which is the claim of the divine self in expression, in expression. I've come, I've come, I've come. I have come. I have come. I have come. This is the true self. This is the true self in its, in its announcing, in its announcing, its purview, its purview, its agreement to be here, its agreement to be here. It is the divine self. And it is the divine self that lifts what it encounters, that lifts what it encounters. Now look around you. Now look around you. Everything you see and experience, everything you see and experience can be renowned from this vantage point, can be renowned from this vantage point. We'll say these words for you. And we will say, say these words for you. We know you are in truth. We know who you are in truth. We know what you are in truth. We know how you serve in truth. We're free, we're free, we're free. You are free, you are free, you are free. You are in the upper room. You have come. You have come. Now you may say these words. Now you may say these words. Behold, I make all things new. Say this, yes. Behold, I make all things new. This is spoken by the divine self. This is spoken by the divine self, not the fear-based self, not the fear-based self, but the one who knows this to be true, but the one who knows this to be true. And now you may say these words. And now you may say these words. It will be so. 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 Now imagine. Now imagine the conflict of the world, that the conflict of the world, the famine, the famine, the disease, the disease, the insurrection, the insurrection and battling and battling young man against old, young man against old, woman against man, woman against man, religion against religion, religion against religion, politics against the other, politics against the other. Imagine all of this. Imagine all of this. The denial of the divine, the denial of the divine may be resung, may be resung, may be renown, may be renown. If you would give permission now, if you would give permission now to be in service, to be in service to humanity, to humanity, you may announce these words to all. You may announce these words to all and let them sing from you and let them sing from you. Circle the globe, circle the globe, circle the energetic field, circle the energetic field that humanity has wrought in fear, that humanity has wrought in fear. You are reclaiming that current. You are reclaiming that current and all that is made and all it has made in the upper room in the upper room through this invocation, through this invocation, God is, 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 yes, say this please, yes, say this please, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is. allow the field you hold, and allow the field you hold, the expression of the divine, the expression of the divine in manifestation, in manifestation to announce itself, to announce itself in the face of fear, in the face of fear, in the face of all false creations, in the face of all false creations, the denial of the divine, the denial of the divine is refuted, is refuted by this statement, by this statement, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is. now in this teaching. Now, in this teaching, you're offered practice. You are offered practice. You must become accustomed. 
you must become accustomed to the level of vibration, to the level of vibration that you can operate with, that you can operate with. This comes in stages. This comes in stages. You don't learn to swim. You don't learn to swim in the deep end of the pool. In the deep end of the pool, you learn in the shallow end. You learn in the shallow end. You still need to touch your toes to the floor. You still need to touch your toes to the floor for the security old, for the security of the old. You need to take a deep dive. You need not take a deep dive to do this work with us, to do this work with us, but you must understand but you must understand that as you do this work with us, that as you do this work with us, you will accrue evidence. You will accrue evidence of your participation, of your participation to the transformation, to the transformation of the lives you've lived, of the lives you've lived, the lives you've lived, the lives you've lived and others' lives and others' lives that you encounter, that you encounter and the collective and the collective, you're in benefit. You are in benefit to the collective healing, to the collective healing or realization or realization of the presence of the divine, of the presence of the divine as you say yes, as you say yes, as you agree, as you agree, as you say it will be so, as you say it will be so. God is, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is. We will teach you more when we return. We will teach you more when we return. We will take a moment for Paul. We will take a moment for Paul. We will go to your questions. We will go to your questions. We will teach again before the evening is through. We will teach again before the evening is through. Period, period, period. Period, period, period. Stop now, please. Stop now, please.